Now we are presenting the dance of Dennis the Buddy Meister. Buddy, you will be able to laugh about it in a few years. Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and I'm Dennis the Buddy Meister. And today's movie was once again picked directly for us to review by one of our awesome Masala Meister tier supporters. Binoy Mohammed chose the 2006 Malayalam language romantic comedy drama Classmates. If there's a movie that you desperately want us to review, please consider becoming a patron or YouTube member as well. Classmates was written by James Albert and directed by Lal Yos. It stars Prithviraj Sukumaran, Kavya Madhavan, Jaya Surya, Indrajit Kumaran and many more. This movie became the highest grossing Malayalam movie of 2006 and it became an iconic and very influential one in the following years, especially because of the campus-based storyline. With the release of Classmates, the concept of alumni meetings started trending in Kerala, which is so interesting because alumni meetings are something that we are familiar with like forever. Yeah, and it doesn't even have to be a meeting of former college students. There are meetings like that with people who know each other from high school or even from elementary school. Mostly though, these meetings revolve around some kind of graduation. And apparently Classmates is what started it in Kerala. The movie became a huge success at the box office and it was remade in Tamil, Telugu and Marathi. And allegedly all of these remakes are halfway decent. But what's more important, Classmates spawned a whole new genre of campus-based movies. So I guess the industry was flooded with them after Classmates became a success. Having said all that, it's interesting that Classmates actually doesn't revolve around an alumni meeting that celebrates some kind of graduation, but rather the 10 year anniversary of the death of a fellow student. So they meet for a reunion, but it doesn't go as smoothly as planned. Love is discovered, friendships are broken or redefined, and secrets about tragic events in the past are revealed. I think we were both at least a little bit surprised that Classmates is a somehow dark movie, or let's say we were surprised that it plays out as this whodunit crime story that's filled with a lot of mystery and dread. It can be quite miserable to be honest, and in that way it in no way represents an alumni meeting that I would like to be a part of, but it of course is also a humorous movie and a romantic one too. It has a little bit of everything and that makes it thoroughly entertaining. Yeah, but there's something that classmates definitely has too much of. And that's music. And I don't mean the songs, because they are all good and at least two songs are very good. Yeah, you're probably referring to Katiruna Penale and Vote, great songs. That's the two, yes. The first one is a beautiful love song and Vote is a very driving and rhythmic piece that invites you to totally go along with it. But like I said, the music, the background score and the sounds are just too much. And you can anticipate it only after 10 or 15 minutes, because there's constantly some music playing or some kind of sound layer audible. Yeah, it's not a problem per se, but the way it's incorporated here seems really haphazard and is overdone, I agree. Every little scene needs some kind of musical underlining that explains you what to feel and that can be exhausting. You kind of get used to it, but that doesn't make it any better. Which brings me to another technical aspect that comes off as slightly random and that's the editing. There are parts in this movie that are just so sloppily cut it left us puzzled. And it's especially apparent in this movie because in turn there are scenes that are nicely edited and skillfully shot. Some impressive tracking shots, good compositions or interesting angles. And also many fighting sequences that aren't the most realistic for sure, but they have a certain vigor to them. It's the stark contrast that makes this so striking. I think it's not that big of an issue, it doesn't really harm the movie, it is very noticeable, but the story, the interactions between the characters and the mystery cover it up pretty well. And as you said, there are some shots, some sequence shots in this movie that look awesome. And you just mentioned the main reasons why we were entertained by classmates. The mysterious story and the characters. It's nothing new to unravel a mystery through flashbacks and it was nothing new back in 2006 when this movie came out. But it works. The story provides us with just enough basic information to be interested in Suku and Tara, Pius, Muri and Razia and in how things turn out. 
We don't really learn much about them in a psychological sense, meaning that we, for example, do not know why Suku and Satish are politically active. We know that they are opposed to each other and that they hate each other, that's it. We know that Suku also hates Tara and vice versa until they fall in love with each other and that's that. We don't know that much about Murli either, besides that he makes music and has asthma. Of course one or two things are revealed with time, but we also don't form the deepest connections to these characters, at least I didn't. The mystery and with it the style of the movie are a bit overwhelming, but for me there was enough about the characters to at least relate to them and be engaged enough to want to follow them for the entire runtime. Yeah, we do not learn that much about them, but there are little things here and there that allow us a glimpse into their minds, especially when it comes to Zuku and Tara, who go through a very emotional time together. I think their love story actually provides enough depth to get carried along with it. Prithviraj and Kavya have nice chemistry too. Good pun. What pun? Well, they fall in love in the chemistry lab. They have nice chemistry. Ah. Anyway, the love story is quite nice, and like I said earlier, Katiruna Penale is a fantastic song. Strangely enough, it suddenly sounds like I didn't like this movie, but it's really not the case. I did like it. But it's a bit too long, isn't it? It definitely is. I mean, 150 minutes is not exactly chicken feet, and that shows. The whole thing with the love letter and the election is really dragging. It takes some time until things pick up pace again. And they really managed to keep us guessing about what happened to Murli in that fateful night 10 years ago, and who was responsible for the attempted murder of Suko during the reunion. We were throwing names around, but we actually weren't able to figure it out. And it's kind of a comprehensible story too, so they actually succeeded in creating a love murder mystery that's not absurd or anything, because twisty crime stories like this one run the risk of being or becoming just that. The whole finale is probably a bit too melodramatic for my taste, but the way things ultimately play out is fine. I agree. And it's filled with quite a nice amount of nostalgia, and I guess I can understand why classmates kicked things off with these alumni meetings in Kerala. So what would we say in German? about Classmates. Classmates ist ein unterhaltsames Liebesmordrätsel, das zwar ein wenig zu lang und auf technischer Seite manchmal etwas holprig ist, durch die Charaktere und die gut konstruierte Erzählweise aber dennoch spannend bleibt. I give Classmates 7 out of 10. It's more like 7.2, but I don't do that. For me it's also 7 out of 10. And I think it's also more like 7.2, but I don't do that either. <laughs> Did you know that Prithviraj's favorite places to travel are Tasmania and Switzerland? Not Austria? No. Sorry. Damn it. So, what are your thoughts about classmates? Leave a comment. You can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd and also on Patreon simply at the Jimmy Cage. And you can hit me up on Twitter at the Buddymeister. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like. And make sure you hit that bell for all we have to tell. Mm -hmm.